I've had this small clock for a number of years and I keep it in my family room and um, you know whenever the battery goes out I replace it so it seemed to stop working one day and I replaced the battery and it worked for a couple days and then it kind of stopped and I thought oh the mechanism's broken what am I gonna do so I found a place online where I could buy another piece the thing I found out was they're very uh, they're not standard and what fits one clock won't fit another clock and so I called there and spoke to a man who um, listened to what I had to say and then he told me a part number to type in to their website and um, he showed me well it said on there how to measure the piece but first I had to figure out how to get mine apart so I'm going to show you how I took it apart how I measured and but talking to the man um, was really helpful and then once I put in the part number it had different kinds for each for that part number so I had to pick the kind I wanted, you know, not electric, I wanted just the battery kind. And then once I did that and showed, then it asked me to choose the size of this, the length of this shaft because they come in different lengths depending on the clock. Then once I picked that, I was able to pick new hands. So the, the hands that I had for the other clock weren't going to work. And I got to pick these. Sometimes they're a little too long, so you have to measure how long you can take them but if they're really thin at the other end you can snip them off to shorten them so I got this kind just in case I had to shorten it out think I'll need to but if it gets to the bottom then I'll take some kind of super wire cutter thing or something and I'll snip the end off so let me show you where I went online and then I'm going to also show you how I ended up getting the part and how I took this apart and put it back together with the new mechanism and how I got it working again so I can still have my little clock. The website I came to is clockparts.com and I had the guy on the phone after I found it and he had me type in the following um, item number into the search field, MVT 7130A. And when I did that, this one popped up American Made Mini Quartz Movements and I clicked it. But then it comes up and I need to choose the shaft length. So as I'm taking my mouse around, it actually makes this bigger. So it's this length of this piece. So you can either scroll down or click to shaft length and it will scroll you down here. So you see all these different shaft lengths and this is what I had to um, measure and why. So I came in here to double check before I started filming this and I selected this one the smallest one and they're also in this drop down as well so the up to 1 8 inch is what I picked I think anyway so that's what you measure and you can see for each one there's a full length measurement on the right and a smaller just the threaded piece measured on the left so you pick that and then you click to add to cart and as you see up here, it says free clock hands at checkout. You'll be prompted to select your free set of hands that go with this particular item. So I click add to cart and then it's going to say you've chosen this, but you get a free hour and minute hand. So it wants to know if you need ones that are under three inches or between three inches and five inches, or if you don't need them at all. But my, the old hands, of the old mechanism only fit the old mechanism. So mine were under three inches and I click that and then I get presented with various sets of hands. And these are also measured, which is really tiny on the screen, but at least gives you some different choices. Now mine, um, I would have liked this one in the lower left, but it's one and three quarters inches long and there really wasn't enough length for me to trim it off. So I actually, I think I went with the, I think I went with this one, the one and three eighths because, no, that's not the one I did. <laughs> I did this one and three quarters because this length is longer and I can trim this off if I need to 
even this one over here, when it's really small at the end and there's some length there, they're long enough where you could snip off anything that's a little longer. So you click to choose it and you can double check and then you can say add to cart. You can also choose a different color. So this one that I chose comes in either black or brass and I wanted black. So let's go back up and make sure that black is chosen. Choose hand color. No, nope, it wasn't chosen. So black and add to cart. And now I'm ready to check out. So it gives you the hands for free. You can also, if you just need clock hands, you can just buy clock hands. You see these would have been $1.20, but um, yeah, it's included with the price of the mechanism. And then they're gonna include a hardware pack for no price. So my total is only $7.95. Of course, there's gonna be shipping, but where else are you gonna find something like this locally? I live in a metropolitan area. So this is where you proceed to checkout. So here's my clock and I'm gonna zoom in a bit because this is the part that I first found confusing. This little part here, um, either will screw off. Remember, it's lefty loosey, righty tighty, and I'm doing lefty loosey, and nothing's happening. So I got out my. Well, I have two pairs of needle nose pliers, and so I just grabbed these when I actually was on the phone with the guy at the company. And yeah, I didn't do that. I don't want to break it there. I pulled it off, and that's that. Okay. So I'm going to pull the hands off carefully so I don't mess anything up. And then this clock face is actually paper. Um, and then I'm going to unscrew it from the back. Now this is a good battery because I had changed batteries thinking that it was a battery problem and it wasn't. So I'm just going to take that out. All right, and then there's a little couple little washer things here, and now I'm ready to replace. So what I had to do, though, that I want to show you, I had to measure this. So I'll go online, and hopefully I can find on their website the same part. And then this part, which is, you know, with a battery, and it's pretty simple part. So I had to measure this. Let's see if I can. I'm working around the camera. Um, I had to measure this in inches. So yeah, all I'm using is the best um, ruler I have. So I'm measuring from the little edge here and you can see there's a gold tone or brass tone piece and then a plastic piece. So I was telling him on the phone how big that is and luckily, because my clock doesn't have a plastic or glass um, lens on the cover, like cover, it's not, if it was a little bit longer, it's not gonna be a problem. So that's what you're measuring. All right, so this is the old one. And now <laughs> I'm ready to put in the new one. And you'll notice inside my clock, there's this little the thing that it's gonna screw into. Yeah. Probably like a lot of you, I'm not all that technical. So here are all the parts it came with, and here are the hands are in here. I may or may not need some of these parts. Like the old one, I'm going to put these rubber washers in here, and let's see if that makes a difference. Hmm. <laughs> oh, it does make a little bit of a difference. All right. I don't want it to make shouldn't matter where the battery is. All right, so here we are. I got the new hands out, and um, I'm gonna start it at 12 o'clock and push that all the way down. And then the longer one, and this should sit not directly on top, but...
There we go. Okay. This moves on. The surprising thing is, even though it was working, I didn't realize it was working because it wasn't ticking. So I didn't realize that this piece, even though it looks similar to the last piece that ran the clock, the mechanism, it doesn't tick. So that threw me off. So it is working. Um, I was a little concerned at first that the hour hand was just gonna flop around. But now it's staying in place. I don't know about this little brass thing. That's I yeah. I would have preferred black. <laughs> if I had the black hands, I want the black. So um, but otherwise, you know, for the price, I didn't want to go have to go buy a new clock and this one fits my decor well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Check out some of my other videos on similar kinds of things to fix around the house. Bye. And now I can actually hear it ticking when I hold my ear up to it. I could not hear it at all, which is nice because I don't like a loud ticking clock anyway. Yep, I hear it ticking.